Guys, I'm here post 5-0 beating of Brackley and it's nice to be able to comment on a win. Yeah, definitely. It's long overdue, um, especially in that kind of that kind of performance. You know, to uh, get five goals past a you know a strong rear guard um, in Brackley, then you know, we're very pleased with the performance. And five quality goals as well. I mean, let's not take away from that. No, no. I mean, it's great that for a goal scorer like Wally, yeah, to be able to be given chances for a start. You know, it's, we haven't supplied him enough recently, uh, but to get a hat trick, um, doing the world of good. So delighted for him and um, Craig Nail thought, you know, two supreme um, goals from himself from distance. Uh, the first one was very good, the second one was just absolutely incredible. So really pleased for him. He's, he's more than deserves his, his opportunity. And I said to him the other night, you know, it's time he had a run in the team. And um, perhaps I'm lucky to find himself out of the team before that, but uh, he hasn't have taken his chance. Now, one thing that we seem to show a lot today was the intensity in play. Like you say, we're getting balls into the box all the time. I mean, Jake Spate was unlucky on several occasions not to, you know, add to his total. But there seemed to be a lot more fire in the play today. I, I don't know about that. I think, um, I think, you know, it's, it's about match fitness, really. You know, people like Jake. I said in hospitality before, Jake Spate only had um, four or five games. You know, and I've seen a big difference in training the last two weeks. Um, wasn't ever going to be a, a bad player, you know. It was, it was just an injury, and you know, in, in pre-season, it, it killed his, his fitness. But he's been re really working hard, and I thought there was a real spark in his play today, and he linked up well. So it's then it's building up a connection with the centre forward, like James Walsh, and um, to be able to name those two as the front two, you know, I think it's it, it, it's great for the club. Um, overall, the match fitness was, is building up. We did okay for the first hour last week and blew up. Now we've you know, in a couple more train sessions under the belts and, and this, this last week and then a full 90 for them today for the vast majority it can only be good for the team and for the connections within it and building up that um, that winning mentality hopefully that's the start of it now obviously the, the, the headlines will be on the attackers and uh, the goals that have been scored but the defence looked really solid as well and they seem to make a good connection but Demagurk had to come off at half time was that a yeah just before half time he felt it, that he was protecting his calf um, and he didn't want anything sinister to happen to that, so um, we pulled him off. I think it was the right time to do so. And he, he played his part massively. I mean, he, his headers were incredible, his timing, and he was really heading at the high, at highest point in his, his jump. So we've missed, we've missed him. You know, people forget you know, conveniently sometimes that we've missed him. We missed Jake, he's not been fit. We missed Wally a couple of games when he wasn't fit. Um, we've missed seven or eight at times. Um, so choose to forget that, but uh, I think we've got a good, a good, good enough team to, to compete and compete well. Um, and I think by the time I think it was 19 minutes past three, we, we banked three goals in, and it's a great message from the players. Now, is this you know is this what we now need to kick on? Is this where we can sort of say right our season starts properly now, and you know for the rest of the games we're we're going to be on fire? Well, I said that in the changing room. You know I didn't want to put too much pressure on them, but I said you know quite a few have had a number of train sessions in succession and had a couple of games under your belts and now's the time to start the season and that, those are the words before the game and, and they grabbed it um, still aspects of the performance we need to improve on um, defensively and the link ups as well um, from the middle third to the attack of third you know, there's still some things that we will work on and we do work on in training and it's open to supporters any time to come and look at our methods and question them openly in front of us you know if there's a problem I mean, one thing we've also got to mention as well is that the fans who were amazing at the end, especially the youngsters, all chanting for five. We managed to give them that, yeah, and they just yeah. kept on going. Yeah, that's right. And it was, I thought it was a good uh, turnout today. Uh, I don't think Brackley brought many, and it's a, it's a journey for them to travel. Uh, so, yeah, under the circumstances, I think it's very uh, credible, creditable uh, crowd, and they really got beha behind us as a whole group. And I can say thank you. You know, it, it, that's great for us. That's great. Thank you very much, Sam. Cheers.